Afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our virtual Christmas Assembly 2021. I'm really sorry that we're not able to do this assembly physically in the main hall. We were hoping on Friday to get everyone together for a Christmas assembly and staff panto. But unfortunately, because of the latest guidance uh, around COVID, we wouldn't want anyone to catch it because of an assembly on the final day of term. So for the second year in a row, we are now doing our virtual Christmas assembly. But I didn't want you to miss out on this incredible, this extraordinary West Ham United Christmas jumper. So I will wear it for the duration of our assembly as we reflect on some of the key messages at this special time of year. So I'm going to share my screen with you now uh, and we've got a short presentation today and you'll see the first slide appearing now. And the question on the first slide is who's your favourite Christmas character? Christmas is of course a time of stories, a time of myths and legends, a time of great characters. And most of you will probably know the pictures on the slide. The first one is Ebenezer Scrooge from Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol. We've then got the Grinch. And then finally, we've got Kevin McAllister, who was the boy in the film Home Alone. And the second question is, what do all of these characters have in common? Well, as with all good Christmas stories, these characters all experience change. They all experience transformation. They all receive hope. Christmas stories are often about change, transformation and hope. In A Christmas Carol, Scrooge is transformed from a humbug who detests Christmas and kindness to a new man, one who promises to change not just at Christmas, but each and every day. The Grinch is transformed from a cynical grump who's trying to steal Christmas to having his heart transformed by a girl's generous Christmas spirit. And Kevin McAllister, who at the start of Home Alone wishes never to see his family ever again, is transformed into a boy who defends his family home at all costs and prays for the safe return of his family with whom he's reunited at the end. In all of these stories, there's another connection as well. It is children who often bring about the inspiration for change at Christmas time. In Scrooge's Christmas Carol, uh, we have Scrooge transformed because of Tiny Tim. In The Grinch is the girl in the village who transforms the heart of the Grinch. And Kevin McAllister is a kid who defends his family home from burglars as well. So it's the children who bring about the change. Because of the Christmas spirit, a belief in happiness, a belief in the ability of us to change uh, who we are or to change the lives of other people. And sometimes we lose a bit of that spirit as we get older. Change, though, is, of course, an important part of our school life, too. And for many of you, since this time last year, there has been real transformation uh, throughout the year. And lots of you will be getting your bronze, your silver, your gold uh, award badges and certificates in form time this week. But I just wanted to highlight the 125 students who have achieved their gold award this term, meaning that they have secured over 300 house points each. That compares to about 25 students this time last year. So an incredible increase in the number of students who are gaining our top awards. And 84 of you have also achieved our extraordinary award. That's for having over 400 house points as well. It has been brilliant in our school to see in recent weeks even as we approach Christmas some of the change and transformation that has also taken place. To all of you who were involved in the Christmas production Baby It's Cold Inside, a phenomenal production of talent from dancers to singers and musicians to drama students as well. Wonderful to see our King Henry stage back in use by our talented students. Whether it's the students that come to our breakfast club, whether it's students that take part in the house competition competitions such as the spelling bee competition or whether it's the year 10 students who last week as a reward for their hard work were taken on a special trip to go ice skating in Greenwich. 
the sense of this community growing and developing of that feeling of a King Henry School family has never been stronger. And it's important that we reflect on it as we go into this Christmas period, because there are still some students that haven't yet transformed into this new King Henry School culture of being extraordinary. But what I want to say to you now is that you can. It is never too late to change. And it might be that you're thinking about change in terms of your relationship with your friends. It might be you're thinking about you need to change your relationship with staff members. It might be that you're considering what changes you can make at home to improve relations with your family members. Christmas gives us the opportunity to reflect on the changes that we want to make for ourselves, but also for those around us and to keep for all the year. Because if we take A Christmas Carol, and many of you would have read this book in English, one of the most famous quotes is this one. I will honour Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. I will live in the past, the present and the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. It's what Scrooge says at the end when he's been transformed. That he won't just change for Christmas. He'll change every day in the future. And that's really important. At Christmas, it's really easy to give a present or to write a card. It's really easy to be good for a day. What's important is those of us who want to change in a more profound way. It's about choosing that change, making that change, and then committing to it in the long term. So the question to reflect on there is what is within your power to change this Christmas? Are you going to make someone else's life better? Could you reach out to someone who's struggling? Is it a change within yourself? Is it a change at home? Is it a change at school? Of course, Christmas is a time when there are lots of um, great news stories around. And I'm going to quickly change from my slide to show you a tweet that I saw earlier today. Uh, as you know, I can't resist um, not talking about football, at least at some point. So I'm going to show a video now of a clip from a football match, not West Ham for once, uh, but a football match nonetheless in the last couple of days. And I want you to, to consider what your first impression is um, when you look at this video. You may not be able to hear it, but you can watch it. So I wonder what your first um, reaction was when you started to watch the video, because my one was there must be crowd trouble. It looks like there's people launching missiles. It looks like there's something badly going wrong. This was a football match um, in Spain. It was at Real uh, Betis. And uh, as they played this football match at half time, they have a tradition at that football club. All of the thousands of people in the crowd bring with them to the game a cuddly toy and they throw the cuddly toys at half time onto the pitch. And the reason they do it is so that the cuddly toys can be organised by the football club and given to the children in the city who live in poverty. So they've got this wonderful tradition of generosity and kindness. They all bring a present which they put onto the pitch and then those presents go to some of the most vulnerable and neediest children at Christmas time so that no child in that city goes without a present. What an incredible change and transformation those gifts will provide to some of the young people who live in disadvantaged conditions out in Spain. A really nice story for us to reflect on. Of course, at Christmas, and hopefully you can see my slides again now, our key priority going into the break is your safety and well-being. So a reminder that you can use our talk at kinghenry.org.uk email address if you have any concerns. We will check it at least once a day over the Christmas break. So if you need to reach out and talk to us, uh, you can email us using that email account. But also on our school website, you will see the 
um, numbers and contact details for a number of national safeguarding agencies. So if you need any support at all over Christmas, then please do go on the safeguarding part of our website and use the agencies that we work with, some of whom Child Lion Fearless, NSPCC and VS are on the slide in front of you. Folks, that brings us to the end of our virtual assembly. I'm so sorry that we've not been able to do it in person, but I look forward to seeing you at the end of the day on Friday. It's a half day on Friday, so we finish at 12 o'clock. And I look forward to seeing you on the gate and wishing you a very Merry Christmas for you and your families as well. Before we go, uh, some of you saw some posters around the school at the start of term about some of the rewards that we are going to give out to students for really good attendance or really good effort within our school. And I remember a couple of you cynical ones said to me, oh, there's no way you're really serious about giving some of these um, prizes out. Well, look what arrived today, folks. This is a PlayStation 5 that has arrived. So PlayStation 5 will be given out as a reward um, in the next few weeks as well as the other rewards that are on the posters. So we are deadly serious when we talk about uh, making sure students who make the right choices, who are doing the right things, get rewarded and acknowledged and recognised in our school. And I hope that as we reflect on that key Christmas message of change, that increasing numbers of you uh, come back to school in January uh, with a determination to be as extraordinary as you can as a student in our school and as a member of our King Henry family. So for the final time, Merry Christmas to you all. Have a wonderful Christmas break. and I look forward to seeing you again in January 2022. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.